Inditex, without question one of the world's most prominent fashion companies. Zara, Massimo Dutti, Pull&Bear and Bershka are just a few of the well-known collection of brands sitting under the Spanish company's ownership, with each of those brands being considered powerhouses in their own right. Renowned for being hyper-responsive to trends, creating unlimited products through an efficient supply chain and offering prices that appeal to numerous markets, Inditex brands such as Zara have been able to build up a dedicated customer base over the years. Just head into any Zara store and you'll find clothing ranging from cozy loungewear and sporty trainers to sophisticated work outfits. By appealing to so many different markets, offering value and having a presence in over 90 countries, it's easy to see just how Inditex have cashed in on their brands. But could this have started a case of more money and more problems? Last month, March 2024, Inditex shares hit a record high after it reported a 5.4 billion euros annual profit and said it would boost its shareholder dividend payouts by 28%. For many workers, news of your employer making top profits is a good thing as it increases the likelihood of you receiving a bonus based on the company's performance. Take luxury brand Hermes for example. In February this year, the brand reported a better than expected profit of 4.3 billion euros, up 28% year on year, and they celebrated that by stating that its 22,000 employees worldwide would each get a 4,000 euro bonus as part of its policy of sharing the fruits of growth with all of those who contribute to it on a daily basis. Of course, Hermes is in a very different position to Inditex. Sure, Inditex may have generated more profits, but it also employs approximately 161,000 people worldwide, almost seven and a half times larger than Hermes. If they were to offer a bonus, it would be far from Hermes's lucrative payout, but that doesn't mean they're not able to offer anything. In any event, comparing the two isn't the point here. The fact of the matter is that parts of Inditex's workforce have woken up to the reality that they're working for a company making record profits with their help, yet they're not reaping any of the rewards. When you frame it this way, some unrest is inevitable and that unrest appears to slowly be boiling over in the company's home market of Spain. Inditex employs approximately 28,000 shop workers in Spain and this accounted for just under 15% of its 36 billion euros worth of sales in the last year. These employees are fed up with contributing to a company that generates more and more profits every year but doesn't reward them accordingly. This has triggered workers from Zara, Bershka and other clothing stores owned by the fashion giant to protest outside their shops across Spain in an attempt to demand better working conditions. La empresa presenti un ejercici amb 5.300 milions, bueno, una barbaritat, ja dic, un 30%, i que es negui a treballar situacions que sap perfectament que són necessàries. So far, the protests have taken place in several cities, including Madrid, Barcelona and Seville, with protesters heard shouting the equivalent of that much profit is our sacrifice. Adding additional firepower to the workers' complaints are Spain's two main trade unions, the UGT and CCOO, who backed the protests in the run-up to the Easter holidays. The unions want Inditex to offer more hours for part-time employees, a minimum number of weekends off per year for all staff, offer better bonuses, salary increases for long-serving employees and retirement plans. When journalists reached out to Inditex, they declined to comment. However, a union leader reportedly showed a letter from the company expressing interest in discussing the demands of all the shop workers. It is worth noting that Inditex hasn't completely neglected its staff. Last year, they increased wages for shop workers in Spain by around 20%, and it has also agreed to renew a one-off bonus of €1,000 this year too. To add to that, globally speaking, salaries of the 161,000 Inditex employees rose by 9% in 2023, reaching an average of just under €29,000 per year, according to the company's annual report. Shops have stayed open as usual during the protests, which you would expect, but the saga hasn't ended, so we'll have to wait and see how this situation develops. 
What do you think? Are their employees asking for too much or should Inditex cut them a bigger slice of the earnings? Drop your thoughts down in the comment section, leave a like if you enjoyed watching this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.